Hi, everyone, and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Request and Devotions. I hope everybody's doing good. Uh, if you notice, I've got that covered up. I'm trying to keep it warmer in here in the kitchen so it keeps the pipes warm and stuff because all the air was just escaping out there into the hallway, and you don't need to have the hallway very warm. So it's, it's doing a lot better in here now. It feels a lot better. <coughs> it's been just really cold. Okay, on our prayer request today... Um, David's mother died. Pray for comfort and peace for the family. Um, pray for Bruce. He's at the hospital suffering from mental problems. Judy Mae Collins is in the hospital with pancreatitis. Pray that she'll be okay. Pray for Randall's family. His brother-in-law died. Uh, Tiffany's surgery went fine. Pray for her quick recovery. Stephen got the tooth pulled and said thanks to everyone for the prayers. Pray for Kelly. She has severe ear, eyes, and oral problems that will all require surgeries. She's also in terrible pain. Okay. Uh-oh. What happened to my... Uh... Hold on just a minute. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't see my bookmark in there. I put the book inside the Bible, and it was pushed down. Okay, our scripture of the day today comes from 1 John 4, 9 through 19. Okay. This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only son into the world that we might live through him. This is love, not that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Dear friends, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in us and his love is made complete in us. This is how we know that we live in him and he in us. He has given us of his spirit, and we have seen and testified that the Father has sent his son to be the Savior of the world. If anyone acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God lives in them and they in God. And so we know and rely on the love God has for us. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in them. This is how love is made complete among us so that we will have confidence on the day of judgment. In this world, we are like Jesus. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. We love because he first loved us. Okay. And our devotion today is entitled Drop by Drop. In everything we look for pleasant ways of serving God, writes 16th century believer Teresa of Avila. She poignantly reflects on the many ways we seek to stay in control through easier, more pleasant methods than total surrender to God. We tend to slowly, tentatively, and even reluctantly grow to trust him with all of ourselves. And so Teresa confesses, even as we measure out our lives to you a bit at a time, we must be content to receive your gifts drop by drop until we have surrendered our lives wholly to you. As human beings, trust doesn't come naturally to many of us. So if experiencing God's grace and love were dependent on our ability to trust and receive it, we'd be in trouble. But as we read in 1 John 4, God's love for us comes first. He loved us long before we, loved, we could love him so much that he was willing to sacrifice his son for us. This is love, John writes, in wonder and gratitude. Gradually, gently, little by little, God heals our hearts to receive his love, drop by drop. His grace helps us surrender our fears, drop by drop. His grace reaches our heart until we find ourselves experiencing showers of his abundant beauty and love. In what ways have you experienced God's grace drop by drop in your life? How has God's love helped you overcome fear in exchange for hope and trust? Faithful God, thank you for loving me first, even when my heart was too wounded and hurting to trust you. 
Thank you for the many ways you reach me wherever I am. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with the different needs. In Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great day and a great morning. And I'd love to see you later on on Morning Coffee Break. Bye, everyone, and God bless.